From Chantrell to Porcini, mushroom season has arrived early in Oregon. There's so many more out there with different tastes. And a picturesque place for the perfect Porcini pick, AKA King Belitz, the Cascade Mountains. There's so many mushrooms that grow and there's such a vast area up here that there's no way that one person can have like access to all of it. Mount Hood Meadows hosted Mushroom Festival Sunday, a week earlier than its original date. And we're gonna ride the lift and take a little hike around. Guide and mushroom forage extraordinaire Jason Roberts brought hikers and a reporter up the mountain and into the woods to forage for wild mushrooms. Almost to the top. Man, a lovely ride on the way. He says the early season is thanks in part to a mild and moist summer. Milder and wetter. And over the past 15 years, he says an earlier season has started to become a trend. We're seeing, you know, August and September mushrooms come up in, uh, in the late July, beginning of August. It's starting earlier. Robert shared some of his secret mushroom sanctuaries on the hike, but we promised we'd leave that secret on the trail. That's usually the fatfall of tending a mushroom spot is somebody finds your spot and scores. It can be pretty exciting when you finally find that choice mushroom out in the wilderness. But if you're a fungi fledgling like me, you're going to want to consult an expert before you pick and eat it because the consequences will take the fun out of fungus. It's good to know. It's very important to know what you're going for. And if you don't know, don't eat it. And don't pick it. If a hike up the mountain isn't your thing, you can still take advantage. With a flux of mushrooms at the market sooner, prices could see a dip earlier as well. The earlier you bring a bully or a, a chanterelle to market, the higher the price is. As the market floods, the price drops dramatically. If you do decide to go hunting on your own, Robert says mushroom foraging etiquette, share the wealth. Just think about who's coming after you. And if you liked what you saw, try to leave it for the person that's behind you. If you want to harvest some of them, take some of them, but don't ever take them all. At Mount Hood Meadows, Brittany Falkers, KGW News.